You're tuned in to Dynamic Advancement, the foremost authority for cyber workforce development. In today's video, I'll be breaking down this news article from MySanAntonio.com that's talking about this new $15 million data center that Microsoft is building on the far west side. Let's dig in. So let's jump right to it. What I want to point out right here, the data center will have some administrative offices and space for five co-location centers, which are essentially large server rooms for cloud data and internet hosting. The cost for the project is estimated at $215.9 million and construction is expected to start in October of 2022 and finish in March of 2024. Ooh. I'll tell you. So think about it. Who uses cloud services? Ponder that one, right? Hmm. I would argue just about everybody. If you're using apps on your phone, you're streaming Hulu or Netflix, you're using cloud data, or you're actually using data that are coming from cloud services. These servers that this article was talking about, those are just some of the services that are provided by, you know, servers, data centers, cloud-based services, right? I best believe the information that you're using on your phone is stored at a data center somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's definitely something to consider. And then from a business perspective, any business that's using cloud services to serve their customers, they're using these services. That's what the big deal is. So let's jump back into the article. I want to point out a couple of different things. Um, so the article goes on to say that the nearest completed Microsoft data center is also in Westover Hills. It completed that 427,000 square foot facility in 2005. Microsoft also bought the Cyrus One 202,000 square foot data center in Westover Hills for $80 million in 2017. Microsoft is also working on another data center at 3545 Wiseman Boulevard, also in San Antonio. And the San Antonio City Council gave Microsoft the nod in January of 2022 to clear 2,642 trees from the Stonegate Hill neighborhood for the Wiseman Data Center. In return, Microsoft agreed to pay $1.4 million to the city's tree mitigation program and plant 800 trees. That's good because I need my oxygen. I don't know about you, but I need my oxygen, okay? So Microsoft, good on you, replant those trees. <laughs> So yeah, this is, so one thing I want to point out, right? This is just showing how Microsoft is staking their claim here in, in San Antonio. And this reminds me of an article from two years ago, yet again, about Microsoft building some data centers. So this article right here is from San Antonio Business Journal. Uh, and the topic of it, Microsoft building massive expansion on the far west side. And so what I want to point out here at the, at the end of this article right here, it talks about how Microsoft and Chevron signed a seven year agreement for Microsoft to be Chevron's primary cloud hosting provider. Chevron is working with Microsoft on an Internet of Things service that enables the company to deploy and track thousands of pieces of equipment with sensors by 2024 for predictive maintenance. So that's huge. That's huge. That's huge right there. Um, I mean, this goes to an earlier point that I that I said, any business using cloud services to serve their customers, they're using these data centers. That's what makes this thing such a big deal. But the real question is. Well, if you're an aspiring IT professional, even if you're a more seasoned IT professional, what this shows is plenty of opportunities, more opportunities are coming because you need the whole spectrum of IT professionals and IT skills to support an endeavor like this. 
So that's the reason why you should care. If you're someone who's trying to break into the IT industry, let this be validation that the opportunities are here and they're coming. <laughs> For my more seasoned professionals, um, definitely more opportunities to level up, make any type of um, career moves you want to make. Um, and for anyone that does benefit from this booming data centers here in San Antonio, cheers to your success.